here we go right i'm back at universal at the top of the parking lot which is where ubers drop you off i have the loveliest uber driver called michael we were talking about cruise ships and all kinds of things like around the area he was so cool but i'm gonna head down now through city walk i don't really know what i'm doing but i've got a few hours so i'm gonna make the most of every minute i've got here in orlando <laughs> Here we go, <laughs> back at City Walk. I'm kind of sad my Halloween Horror Nights adventure is over for this year, but I'm so ready to get home to my baby. So I'm just walking through City Walk to Universal Studios Florida and coming directly from Disney Springs, it's so much more apparent what different vibes these two shopping and eatery districts have. City Walk is way more adult vibes. I mean, there's families here and families are cool here. Uh, Pacey comes here, but yeah, it's more of a grown up fun vibe, whereas Disney Springs is like family chill vibe. Um, how quiet does this look today? This is kind of insane. Maybe because it's not Horror Nights night. A lot of the crowds coming in were for Halloween Horror Nights. You could tell by like the way everyone was dressed, but wow. I'm back in the park. I mean, Universal Studios, so easy to get in and out of here it's just a breath of fresh air the sun's shining now and it's a lovely lovely day such weird weather earlier but yeah i've just <laughs> got a bottle of water and i was holding it like this i've just got it all down my dress so if you can see a big splodge on the front of my dress it's um because i spill my drinks everywhere and they leak everywhere but yeah i've only got like half hour now 45 minutes and i'm gonna head into the jurassic park tribute store because i haven't done that yet and it probably won't be here Next time I'm here, don't know when that'll be. I'm heading down Hollywood and into Jurassic Park Tribute Store. I'm just heading through the Dark Zodiac Scare Zone, which is in the Hollywood area where we were last night. This is where all the chainsaw guys are and all the Zodiac kind of themed scare actors. And I'm gonna say this is my favorite scare zone this year. I absolutely loved it. Guys, what planet do I live on? The Jurassic Park shop's gone. It was here. Why did I think it was still here? It's Halloween Horror Nights, of course it's not. Oh man, I want to see some dinosaurs. I actually had a friend of mine ask me the other day, is Universal spooky during the day whilst Halloween Horror Nights season is upon us? And it's not, no. So some set pieces are out, like the harmless ones, like signs and stuff, but anything that may be remotely spooky or gory or inappropriate for daytime guests and children is covered up like this. So I think this one had like a body on it there's a foot there <laughs> but yeah you you won't see anything scary during the day there goes marilyn hi oh she's beautiful <laughs> i just asked the team member and the jurassic park tribute store has closed to make way for christmas so whether there's going to be a christmas tribute store there i don't know i know the mardi gras store was there last year but the halloween horror night store is still over in New York where it's always been so I don't know I have heard rumors they're gonna have an epic universe like preview area so maybe they're gonna put that in the Halloween Horror Nights location and the Christmas store back in Hollywood in the Jurassic Park location we'll see <laughs> around the park I'm not going on any rides I'm just soaking in the last of the atmosphere the vamp 69 scare zone was so much fun the scare actors were so lively in this one it was amazing I've not even left Orlando yet and guys is it possible to miss this year's Halloween Horror Nights event already because seriously it was a good year I'm a little bit sad I didn't get to eat at the Minions Cafe this time. 
I've got to go right now. Typically there's no queue, so technically I could have eaten there. Um, but it just means we'll have to come back next time with Paisley because she will love that. There goes Rip Ride. Can't even believe I did that yesterday. <laughs> So just on this short little walk through the park, it's really not too busy here today at all. Villain Con was a 20 minute wait. This big will me, Minion Mayhem is only 35 minutes. So it's a quiet day here and the weather's gorgeous and I kind of wish I had time to jump on some rides, but I don't. So I'm gonna say goodbye to Universal Studios and head back to Aventura to grab my bags, get in an Uber, and get my butt to MCO and home. Just as I'm walking past the globe, back to get on the transportation, I would tell you guys that I was speaking to a team member earlier today here on City Walk, and they said the globe actually hasn't been moving now for about a month. So she didn't know why, but don't know what's going on with that and whether it will start moving again. It's cool that it moves. When you're getting pictures, it's actually quite nice for it just to be sitting still so you can get the words where you need them. But yeah. We shall see. And it is a lovely goodbye to Universal Studios Florida, Halloween Horror Nights 32. It's been so much fun. I'm gonna take the boat back to Sapphire Falls and walk again, just because it's chill and I love the views and everything. I just wanna soak it all in because the parks and city walk and everything looks stunning today. I'm so happy the sun came out for me. of Aventura Resort. It's about half past one and I'm just getting my bags from luggage services now. We're 11 this morning. You get a little ticket and then you give it back and they bring it out. So yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye to the resort, have a look in the shop and then order my Uber. Universal's Aventura Hotel has served me so well. Again, it's perfect for an adult's Halloween Horror Nights trip. Everything you need, so good, so easy. I'm gonna head out here now and just order my Uber. I had a little look a minute ago. Hello. Or goodbye, should I say? Um, yeah, I had a little look on the app and they're one minute away, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that ordered. Wait here and head to Terminal C. Zero minutes. It's like they're here already. Marlon is arriving in a Nissan Altima. Huh. Let's see. In theory, they're basically here. airport back where I was like four days ago it's crazy it's been such a whirlwind yeah Ubers from Universal to MCO are so easy it takes about 25 minutes it's about 30 odd dollars so not bad at all had a lot quite a lot of um lady Uber drivers this time I mean it makes no difference at all but when you're a woman traveling solo sometimes it's quite nice to have a lady driver um the man ones have been absolutely perfect as well but yeah it's just nice but we're here at Terminal C I'm gonna go and check in I think the flight's delayed, but it always is coming home with BA. I don't know what's wrong with them, but yeah, <laughs> it's always like an hour or so delay, but it's, it's fine. This airport's lovely terminal C. We're gonna explore and spend the rest of my money, see what presents I can get for my baby girl. So excited to see my little sausage, bless her heart. Five minutes later, I'm all checked in. Got my boarding ticket and everything. I was speaking to a lovely um, lady on the BA desk and I was just telling her I'm a bit anxious because I'm on my own, I'm scared of flying. I'm in economy this time. Last time it was just a treat because I was so anxious and there was a good deal. Um, and she was showing me the seating map and stuff. And as it stands, fingers crossed, hopefully I won't be trapped by a stranger. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't want to count my chickens, count my eggs, count my chickens before they hatch not eggs. I'm going to go through security now, it doesn't look too bad at all. My memory is here of this airport, the last time when they lost Paisley's caricature, because that was a nightmare, we were sitting around security for hours trying to find it, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to go chill out and just try and get in the right headspace to fly home. Okay, I'm checked in, I think I said I was checked in before, I don't even know, but I got through security and uh, everything like that and it was 20 past two, so the whole process took 20 minutes, which it's brilliant and if you look back to like pre-terminal C, the normal terminal, it would sometimes take hours. That security line was the bane of my life, like it took so long. I love this terminal, it's just, it's just a breeze. It's so refreshing and easy and yeah. 
second thing I wanted to do was go and get dressed because that dress was not like a travelly dress and I just want to be comfy and easy. I've taken my hair out because that was pulling and hurting my skull. And yeah, I'm now comfy. I've got my bag, I've got my big backpack on again. I've got my suitcase, which is not very well. It's actually quite wobbly. So I'm hoping it doesn't pack up on me throughout this journey. There's a little screw loose, but obviously I've got a screwdriver to hand, so there's not a lot I can do about it right now. Um, I'm gonna look around the shop, see what I can get for Paisley. I might find something to eat. I don't, I'm not hungry, but I don't want to eat plain food, so I probably should get something. Um, there's loads here, there's Chick-fil-A, Shake Shack, Starbucks, Cask and Larder. There's, there's just so much here, it's really good. Um, I've just tried to tighten that screw and think I've made it even worse, but we're fine, we've not got far to go. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and chill out a bit. I'm not gonna take you guys around the shops, because I've done that in the last couple of vlogs, and like my travelling home vlogs. And I've literally spent today walking around Disney Springs. You've seen all of the Disney stuff. I've been showing Universal stuff for a few days, so... I won't bore you with that today. <laughs> okay, I've had a look around all the stores, I had a look around all the food places, got myself some snacks, and I was on FaceTime to Paisley for a while and chose her bits. She chose her bits, I'll show you them in a minute. <laughs> oh, it's overpriced here for certain things, but yeah, I've had my look around, and now I've come down to the gate, which is 244. It's right at the bottom, like you can see the doors behind me. My plane is delayed from five up until six, PM and you can see that the 3 p.m. plane that was due to land here, the one I came in on, on the day I came in, isn't here yet. So that'll be why, because that landed around about three when I came in. So we'll see when that gets here. I'll go and have a look at it when it lands. Um but yeah, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna have my snacks. I'll show you those as well. It's nothing exciting though. I didn't fancy anything proper, like I'm just I don't want to before I go on the plane. I'm feeling very nervous, so I'm not eating much right now. Um but yeah. In a little while, I might go up to Orange County Brewers and have a glass of wine at the bar. But once you're up there, you have to stay there. So I thought I'll sit here and have some snacks and then I'll go back up there. But you're not allowed to take the glass of wine away. So that's why I'm doing it here. I'm also going to watch some of the planes behind me and just watch them coming in. And yeah, that should kill some time. It says certain things got her eye when we were on FaceTime and she chose a Gryffindor pin. I'm certain she's already got a Gryffindor pin because we've got a Universal lanyard, but I couldn't remember. So. I got that for her and then she chose the Volcano Bay pin because she loved our day there last time so that's cute. $7 cotton candy with the minions on which she won't eat, she doesn't like cotton candy but she thinks she does so that's coming home for my baby. And then we've got Weasley's Wizard Weezers Phoenix Fire Putty. A small tub of putty and they do Trolls Bogies, Love Putty, Luminescent Putty. $20 <laughs> but it's her favourite thing and that's what she picked so yeah that's it is what it is basically and then I just got myself the Halloween Horror Nights top I hadn't got it because I wanted to make sure I had enough spending money to get basic stuff before I got my top but I just got this one with all the houses on I get one every year I've got a lovely collection of them going on now because I've been for like nine years now but yeah I like the colours on this year's top I think it's really nice in terms of food, I got Pringles for my main, Chips Ahoy for pudding, and Skittles to take home just because I love their sour Skittles. They're different to the ones at home. They've got sour um, sugar on them. No sweet tarts as per. I don't even think you can really find sour sweet tarts over here anymore. I haven't seen them in years. Pepsi because there's no Coke, and I've got my phone just on charge as well. They've got USBs just underneath the chairs. If you haven't got a USB, they've got this but you have to sort around and take your case off and stuff so I prefer to use the USB. Planes arrived, I've just seen everybody like walking out so hopefully they can turn it around quite quickly we won't be much more delayed than an hour because I just want to get home now to be honest but it looks lovely out there. Anyone that's just landed is going to have an amazing week, it's going to be sunny sunny sunny. I'm on the plane, I don't think anybody sat next to me so that is delightful, literally couldn't ask for anything better. It's quite a busy flight as well by the looks of things, so I'm a very lucky little boy, love it. Yeah, I was at the Orange County Brewery at the airport, lovely, lovely. Met a delightful couple, was talking to them about Horror Nights, and they just went out to St. Augustine, the Swarm of Manatees and stuff, so they're giving me ideas, guys, for my next trip. I want to go to the Manatees, I really, really do. Like, yeah, that sounds fun. Let's go. More off-site fun experiences. So yeah, we've got 
this voice is not getting any better from this morning. Literally, I've screamed my heart out at Halloween Horror Nights. I've lost all my voice. But I think we're all. I'm going to find a film to watch and get home with my baby. Yes, I think I've had a dream come true. They've just said that cabin boarding is now complete. That's my bag, by the way. But no one else is on here with me, so I've got a free so I can spread my limbs and have a little rest, which is gorgeous, gorgeous. It's only a seven hour, 43 minute flight, which is super short. I swear that's shorter than usual, but fine. Off we go. Guys, I'm so lucky, nobody got on the plane, so I'm literally a spread eagle. Excuse the time. <laughs> I just had a little snooze. I'm watching um, a Cinderella story with Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray, because it's one of my favorites. And I think I've realized I actually like comfort films on a plane. I used to think I liked like something new, but I don't, I like comfort films. So this is perfect. Food's just came, and I've got cheese and crackers, a couscous, a little bun, and then it was chicken and mash or cheese and tomato pasta. I actually went chicken and mash. Probably should have had pasta, but I don't know, I panicked and went chicken and mash. And I was very lucky because I literally woke up as the guy was here. So let's have a little look, shall we? Should we have a look? I haven't seen any mash all week, so. Oh God, it's plain food. <laughs> even though we took off an hour late i think we only landed half an hour late so that was good rob's here to pick me up and we're just headed home should be home by half past nine i'm going to bed <laughs> absolutely shattered still my legs i don't think i've ever walked so much in my entire life i think i just fitted like a week holiday into four days so i need to catch up and come you sound, you sound ropey it's because I was screaming. It's because I've been screaming my head off. <laughs> Can't wait till three o'clock when I go and get that little sausage head from school. I've missed her so much. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog series. I'll do like a trip report review thing, talking about what it was like to go solo, Halloween Horror Nights ratings, all that fun stuff. But yeah, another end to another Florida series and then, um, Need to go book the next trip, really. Hey, hey, hey. It's been a while. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.